You're watching ABC5 News at 10. Restaurants in the metro, maybe a dime a dozen, we have a lot of them, but there are some that are truly special, that are iconic to Des Moines, that stand the test of time. ABC5 Sabrina Ahmed visited one of those restaurants and has their story to share. It's an unassuming building. If you didn't grow up here or were brought here by someone who did, you might not even walk inside. But when you do, you walk through the grocery store and to the back, you won't be disappointed. Your choice of hot pepper cheese or mozzarella or provolone. We'll have sometimes 140 people come through here. B&B is a family owned, what was family run, supermarket, butcher shop, and deli. Oh yeah, where else can you get food and see a family feud right here? Or right in the middle of the lunch rush, someone can call in a massive order and they make it happen. No, double Polish, no mustard. All right, give me about 10 minutes. It's run by John Jr. and Joe Brooks. Their grandpa and uncle started the business. Since 1922. While it hasn't always been their dream job, they've been working here as long as they can remember. I mean, you know, I, I come to work and there's my mom, there's my dad, there's my grandma, my uncle, my cousin, my sister, my brother. I mean, you know, so everybody knew everything that they should and shouldn't know. But it's home, and they've grown to love it. You gotta love it, or you wouldn't show up every day. It's sort of a um, family curse, but I, I really, uh, I love it. I love working at B&B. Their sons, wives, sisters, and cousins all work here, too. John Jr.'s sons have been here since before they could walk. Now when they hang out here, they, they want to be here, so that's cool. The people behind the counter aren't conventional. They might even make fun of you. A word of advice? Don't ever order a turkey sandwich. But their hearts and souls are in this building. Yeah, Charlie, right here. Passion's uh, not from a Cupid doll hitting you with an arrow and hearts are flying everywhere. It's, it's from uh, endurance, pain, and you know perseverance, passion. And what you get when you walk in here is a testament to that. You know, I don't know what the secret is, but we put out a good product and we try to stay personable with everybody. Steve, is that it for you? The lunch crowd is comes for the you? sandwiches, but those haven't always been on the menu. Their grandpa yeah, and dad are the people who uh, taught them everything they know about being butchers. You know, everyone pretty much learns to do everything. That way, uh, everything can be done by everybody. Even the knives they use are from the beginning. This is a cool knife. My grandfather had it. This is from like 1931. The white knives on the shelves, well, they belong to their dad. He retired, don't touch them. I don't get yelled at. How the sandwiches came to B&B is a different path than most lunch spots. They were started by these foodies when they were just teenagers. Our one perk was we got to make our own lunch and you know, we'd stack these sandwiches and uh, pretty soon someone's like, what's that guys? We're like, lunch? and uh, now we don't even eat lunch. The sandwiches have clearly taken off. They have award-winning, well, just about everything. They're served on the freshest bread. Every morning they bring them to us, they're still warm. And with the best quality cuts of meat. Don't think this is a typical deli, though, because if you do, you'll be shocked when you feast your eyes on this menu. The burgers are amazing. The killers, well, read between the lines. Their newest addition is called a Sloppy Mike. First time here, we can actually show off our new sandwich, the Sloppy Mike. This is not for the meat. Sloppy Mike's a double hot pulley sausage with grinder meat on it mozzarella or pepper cheese melted over the top and it's really good it's a good sandwich but boy oh boy when it comes out of that toaster it smells like heaven then it was my turn keep it casual mm. and fun and you know that's really good fresh fresh like killer mm. okay big that's delicious <laughs> I think that's going to be a new staple. It's juicy, fluffy, crunchy, spicy, all in one. But we're getting a special treat because this item isn't even on the menu. So when you go, tell them Sabrina from ABC5 sent you. <laughs> Two single hamburger buns? Now, like I said, the sandwiches are not the core of this establishment. I think that's what's gave us a second look this generation, you know, where, you know, the people come in for sandwiches and, and they like them so much and then they see the quality and the cuts of meat we have, and so it's like a circle now. The real gem is what you get to take home to feed your family. And I like being a butcher too, it's kind of fun. It's sort of an intimate in on people's lives. We get to be on their plates for holidays and get togethers and special occasions. This is the only meat market in town that has carcass beef, but that's not what keeps people coming back. It's the quality, the uniqueness, the history, and always a little fun at 10.30 in the morning Cheers. and 2.30 in the afternoon.
In Des Moines, with Chief Photographer Don Smith, I'm Sabrina Ahmed, ABC5 News. I want to go there right now. Thanks, Sabrina.